What's going on, everybody? So today I want to talk about gearing strategy and generally progression strategy. I actually want to do a full video on farming priorities and some of the teams that you might want to pick out in terms of power level. But I'm only going to talk about that a little bit in this video, because really what I want to focus on is actually developing your characters, because you could spend a lot of energy in this game, basically farming every node if you want, but only a small percentage of those are even going to get geared. And generally speaking, you don't really want to spread your energy out too thin on all the different characters, because then it takes a really long time to start gearing up your units. And because gear tier eight is actually relatively easy to acquire in terms of compared to all the other iterations like Star Wars during this time, it was way harder to get to the higher gear tiers. It's actually pretty viable to start maxing out a full team potentially before raids come. Um, for those of you that might have been playing every day or maybe be spending a little bit or even potentially max out a couple teams by the time we actually get potentially a gear tier raise, etc. Because we all know that's going to happen in this game eventually. <clears throat> but in terms of gearing strategy, I want to walk you through kind of my priorities um, on my characters and then also when I actually use my energy for star levels and things like that. First off, let's look at a character I'm actually trying to develop to gear tier eight, and I'm very close to it here in Elra here. By the way, I only have one gear tier eight at the current moment, and that's Halberad. And you might notice that I have a lot of characters at like gear tier six, etc. And I only just recently started prioritizing one character at a time to gear tier eight. And that is part of it, as you can see here with Elra here and Halberad. I generally like to prioritize one person at a time and mainly because you really want to take a lot of value out of their gear tier level ups and in particular the amount of value you get from really going all in on a certain character specifically with your healers that are based on max hp and your dps it's going to be really really useful so first off i like to focus on those max hp healers like halberad and my damage dealers like elra here but going through and actually spending your energy, there's a few things that I like to consider. First off, if you're early, early on to the game, then do not do this. But if you are mid to, you know, I'm going to say late game, what late game means is like people who are later in the game in terms of time, you know, the higher level, but mid game is probably a more accurate estimate. You could actually go through and buy a lot of the gear materials from the shop with gold so going into the supply shop every day multiple times a day and actually picking up a lot of the pieces of gear that you might be using on certain amount of your characters like for example the armor essence um or any of the other blue one like the damage essence here uh or you know if you're using one of some of these green pieces you can also pick up those do not buy the purple pieces because right now we don't really have much use for them you might be able wanting to in the future or if you want to prepare for the future you could buy them now but because we're buying the other pieces of gear we can actually focus all of our energy every single day into luminous crystals and this is what i do every single day the more you have unlocked the better and so if you can go through and unlock them all great generally speaking if you're claiming all the energy every day and you're using triple refreshes like i have been then you should be able to clear out all of the hard nodes for all the luminous crystals and still have energy left over to potentially farm for those little pieces that you might be missing so for example by the end of today i will have farmed all of my luminous crystals and then i'll move in to start farming the missing pieces uh like for example if i'm missing i believe i'm missing some armor essence i'll go and farm some of that or some of the tokens okay this is pretty important because your main bottleneck is going to be luminous crystals like 99 percent of the time if you could um upgrade a piece the only restriction would be luminous crystals because all the other ones don't really have a time gate on them but luminous crystals do and they're also pretty hard to find very similar to like a hard node farm for characters but what's also important about this is when you're farming these different stages, you want to consider what you're actually getting on the hard notes. So 
if you're farming like luminous crystals some of them have like damage essence which is super important or for example if you're going to go ahead and find like a token you want to look at the hard nodes and the reason i say this is because sometimes the hard nodes can have some other material on there that you might want to or character might want to get for the future which will give you pretty almost nearly um double the value sometimes so every day i use all my energy on those luminous crystals in order for us to progress the gear and then i use the remaining energy on farming gear and one other thing which is using them for six hard node farms for characters you might think oh that's a lot because six hard nodes is going to be 360 energy per day right 60 per which is kind of a lot but you again if you're using the three refreshes if you're taking every single energy per day you're doing all your daily quests you're going to easily acquire enough to be able to do all of this and of course you don't want to cap out on energy every day and the six hard nodes that i'm farming currently are going to be the two for elrond and i actually have been kind of trying to figure out whether or not it's worth it or not in a previous video i talked about how it can be worth it if you're going to kind of plan for a elrond unlock in the future it's going to take a while but it will be worth it at that point. You're just going to fall behind at the current moment. And also, if you do not decide to go for it, you're going to be a little bit more advanced for you know, pushing content or potentially for raids. And for me, well, I am actually bottlenecked by Luminous Crystals right now. And so, as I mentioned earlier, because I can't get enough Luminous Crystals and I don't particularly care about gearing up my Shadow team, I'm actually not missing out on a lot, which is why I think six characters is the perfect amount. The reason being, as I mentioned, if we're getting bottlenecked by Luminous Crystals, there's no reason to sit there and farm other gear for my characters because I won't even be able to use it anyways because I'm still locked behind getting those Luminous Crystals because they are hard nodes. And I never recommend you guys resetting hard nodes for gems it's going to be a really big drain on your resources for not any extra value it's just going to speed up your clock but you're going to lose those gems permanently and so that's why i focus on six characters eowyn eothane um as well as maher dunhar and then lilio and um Lamion. those are all hard node farms and all of those i am doing at the current moment because all of them are characters either currently in my team or also potentially for the Lord Elrond. And of course, with stars getting a little bit of a buff here coming up with the raid patch, I assume, we're going to get a big power increase for those of you that actually have five, six, and potentially seven star characters. So you're going to want to grind for that as well. And that leads me to my last portion of farming for this video, which is Guild Campaign. Now this one, um, I highly suggest at the current moment to go for a character while we're or inching our way towards the advancement of star levels in terms of buffs to them, as well as waiting on Chapter 5. I did a full video on this a few days ago, or potentially yesterday, I'm not quite sure. Um, but... Um, Characters like Gauze, for example, who is used in basically every Shadow team at the current moment, getting him to seven stars is going to be a big, big deal. Same with Elra here. I recommend both of them and potentially even someone like Pippin here who is on Chapter 1-5. All of those are going to be useful. Uh, you could even go for someone like Ugluck if you wish. Um, he's going to be pretty nice to be able to get up to five, six, seven stars. You could go for any other character you're using. But you want to do this sooner rather than later. And the reason I say that is because if you're farming chapter four, uh, you're not going to get any additional value besides the materials, and you can get more value when you unlock chapter five. In the meantime, you can farm for star levels. I generally recommend, once again, farming for star levels at the current moment due to the star level buffs. And when you do unlock chapter five, then you can make that decision whether or not you want to build materials or the star level. But again, star level, is going to be irreplaceable uh, in the future whereas ability materials well they oftentimes aren't necessarily as important to unlock specific pieces of content but depends on the character so overall that's kind of a daily farming strategy some things to think about i would like to go ahead and do a hard node farming priority uh, for characters coming soon and then of course some hard nodes to look out for uh, and of course this changes based on 
what characters you want to go for. And I also want to do kind of an in-depth beginner's guide as we approach uh, raids because that's going to change the game drastically. And I will do a video about that coming when raids come because this is going to change our perspective going forward. And I think that's a pretty good time, about three months post um, game being launched, adding oh, about two and a half months, adding a new beginner's guide. So if you guys want to follow along and check out that video, be sure to sub. Try and inch my way towards a thousand subs so I can unlock a few things on YouTube. And if you want to help out with that, appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think about the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think about the video in the comment section down below. See you tomorrow.